Hello, so I'm going to give you some tips about working with the 5x12 hoop. Uh, last video I showed you how to manually split a design and sew it pro for the hoop. Now, when we're talking about the 5x12 hoop, what we're really talking about is two 5x7 areas printing, hoop, uh, stitching out. So area position 1 or position 2 or position three. That's what we're really talking about. It's It never stitches more than a five by seven area at any one time. It's simply that on the side of the hoop you can see that there's position one, position two, position three prongs. And that's really important to remember. Now I never managed to hoop correctly with this because it's such a long skinny hoop. It's easy to get the tension on the ends right, but getting the tension on the sides is really difficult. It tends to be really overly loose. So what I do when I use this hoop is I float. And then when you float, and even when you hoop, it's really important to line things up, especially if you're using this 5x12 hoop to do a split design whose alignment really matters. So what you really need to do is, and it, it is a little bit involved, you can never really trust that you're going to hoop position one, press start, then move position three and press start without checking the alignment. You have to check the alignment. And in order to do that when a machine is running and the hoop is on the machine is to mark your fabric. So the first thing I do because I'm, uh, I'm going to be floating is I mark the stabilizer. This helps me line things up a heck of a lot better. So first you mark the stabilizer. This would be the center of position one. This is the center of this here crosshair is the center of position three. So position one, position three. This is the center of the hoop stitch area or the center of position two. So mark those. Then when you get over to your fabric, you need to mark again. Right? So you have to take your template. And again, you need to mark the centers and mark your crosshairs, and that's really, really important that you do that. You can do that either with just, you know, a washable marker or with the air erasable, but you have to be really careful with the air erasable because sometimes it erases a little too quickly. So I'm going to mark my fabric and hoop it up, and then I'll show you why this marking is so very important.